Hey guys, welcome to Jack's Beautiful You. Today's video, we're gonna be doing my Sephora VIB Sale Perfume Haul, and most of these were blind buys. <laughs> <laughs> which I have said that I wasn't going to do that much of, and I've been doing a pretty good job. 2023 was my year of really testing perfumes out first, and then I kind of ruined it at the end. This haul is mostly blind buys. There's only one perfume that I actually tested first. You know, sometimes I just like the thrill of a good blind buy. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail today. I truly appreciate you being here. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys so, so much for all your continued support. I truly appreciate appreciate you. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, I do have one perfume here that I did not purchase during the sale. I actually didn't get this from Sephora at all. This is a perfume I bought from Lucky Scent, but I forgot to put it in my last haul video, so I'm going to just sneak it in this video if you guys don't mind. This is by Kais Perfumes, and this is, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is a perfume, this is a new one from Kais, I believe. It's a new release, but I saw this. I was purchasing something else from Lucky Scent, and I saw this, and I was just like, I'm getting that. I blind purchased this, and I really felt like I was going to like it because it has a funnel cake on the picture. The little sticker here on the top, it has a funnel cake. And if you've ever gone to a carnival or a fair, an amusement park, and had funnel cake, I mean, it's delicious, okay? It's so sweet and delicious, and sometimes you can get fruit on funnel cakes, sometimes you can get powdered sugar, but that's what this is supposed to smell like, and let me tell you, it does. It does smell like a funnel cake. Now, this is for my foodie gourmand lovers only. There is nothing in this perfume that smells like a perfume. <laughs> <laughs> this smells like you went to an amusement park and you're eating funnel cake, okay? There's apricot in here, and I can't say that I really get apricot per se. I get a little bit of a fruity vibe in here, like a sweet, sugary, fruity vibe, but I couldn't really say that there's apricot. It's absolutely delicious. My husband actually really, really liked this one, but it didn't make his top 10 when he did that video. It made his top 20, though, but he ended up saying that he would prefer to smell this in the home, like as a candle or something like that. He's not really the biggest foodie gourmand person, but for me, I'm a big gourmand lover. I love semi-gourmands. I love full-on foodie gourmands. So this is right up my alley, and if you want to smell like a funnel cake, it's absolutely delicious. It will make you hungry. I don't recommend it if you're on a diet because it'll make you crave a funnel cake, <laughs> and I really have been enjoying it a lot. I can't stop wearing it. It's delicious. It's super, super fun, and the performance is decent. It's not super loud, which is probably a good thing because if this was super loud, it's very sweet very realistic to food, and if it was too strong, it would probably be too much. But because it's only like moderate, you know, moderate projection, moderate longevity, I'd say about five, six hours, I find this one to be wearable for someone who likes foodie gourmands. I'll put the name of it up on the screen and also put this perfume in the description box. Okay, you guys, I have four more fragrances here and these are all ones that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. So this is just a little mini haul, but I did wanna share with you what I got. I blind bought this perfume because of the hype. I had FOMO. Everybody was talking about this and I got it. This is by Jo Malone and this is Ginger biscuit. I think I was still awake actually when the sale started. It was midnight the day that it started, right? And so I was like, I'm going right on the site and I'm going to buy it. And then shortly after that, the site like crashed and you couldn't get on it for the rest of the day. So I was so happy that I placed my order because I think this sold out at Sephora and I was like, yes. <laughs> I totally fell for all the hype and the FOMO. So the packaging is adorable, by the way. I love this. Very holiday Christmas. And then this is what it looks like inside, which is super cute. So this is what the bottle looks like. And I have to say, I like the color of the bottle. And I also really like the bow on the top. And I just think the bottle is super cute. So this was a blind buy. I had never smelled this before, but so many people were talking about it and people were saying it smelled like a ginger snap cookie. And I was like, I have to have this perfume. However, I was a little hesitant because I've heard the performance isn't that great. And I'm also really not the biggest Joe Malone fan because I don't, it's not that I think they're 
fragrances are bad in any way. I actually have several Jo Malone fragrances that I've tried that I think smell really good, but the performance always seems to be lacking for me. I know there are a couple that I've heard are long lasting. I know it's not every single Jo Malone, but for the most part, I don't have a lot of success with the performance of Jo Malone fragrances. And so this is the only one that I have. And I have to say, this does smell like a ginger snap cookie. It definitely smells like gingerbread. It is to die for. The scent is amazing, okay? The girls didn't lie about the scent. Everybody was pretty clear that this is not super, super great performance, and I was ready for that. I was prepared for that when I purchased it. I decided to go for it anyway. The performance is pretty bad in my, I mean, I just got this bottle, so this is just my first impression. It's possible that this could get stronger with time, but as of right now, this makes it about maybe, if I'm lucky, two hours. And it is very, very close to the skin. <laughs> it is very soft. I have to spray myself down to smell this. So I'm a little, I'm not necessarily disappointed because I was prepared, but I kind of thought it would be a little bit longer than two hours, you know? I will warn you, if you are getting caught up in the hype, if you're caught up in the FOMO of this perfume, you know, just keep, just be prepared. It's not a great performing fragrance, but the scent is definitely to die for. So I'm, I don't regret purchasing this, and I'm going to give it some more time. It might need some time to oxidize. Maybe it'll get stronger with time. That's possible. I've had lots of perfumes that have done that, but as of right now, the performance is not very good at all. <laughs> but the scent is amazing, so I'll keep you posted on this one. Let me know in the comment section if you have this. Have you tried it? Do you own it? Do you think it's worth it? How's the performance on you? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think? I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions as well. Let me know your thoughts on this one. So this is by Jo Malone Ginger Biscuit. Okay, continuing the conversation of FOMO. I got by Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. This has been making the rounds, you guys. This has been making the rounds. Now, I had a pretty strong feeling. I blind bought this. I had a pretty strong feeling I was going to like it because I am a big, big fan of citrus, like candied, sweet, citrusy gourmands with lots of vanilla. Like that citrus vanilla combo is something I love. I love Lyra. I love Unknown Pleasures. I love those types of, I love Exidolo's Love and Crime. Citrusy gourmand fragrances are my jam. So I thought, yeah, I'm probably going to like this. I really like Bake from Acro, but I haven't purchased that one. I'm kind of on the fence because the lemon doesn't seem to last very long in that one. But I have heard that the same perfumer that did Bake is the same perfumer that did this. So I was hoping that this would smell like bake and maybe I wouldn't need to buy bake. The notes on the back are candied citrus, orange blossom, and vanilla. I'm sure there's more notes than that, but that's the, the gist of it. That's the gist of it and that's what I get in this perfume. So this is the bottle. I think the bottle is super pretty. I really like it. I have to say this does remind me of bake to an extent, but I definitely pick up differences. Bake to me smelled lemon. Like there was no doubt whatsoever that it was full on lemon. It was lemon zest, lemon peel, and it smelled like a very sweet but very, very zesty, sharp, lemony cupcake. Like the icing on a cupcake is what bake smells like to me and I love it. But that lemon doesn't stick around for a long time so I'm not sure if I'm going to get a bottle of that or not. At least it doesn't on me. This one, I get that same like citrusy vibe. In the opening, it is very powerful. It's very like, whoa, citruses, candied citruses, sweet. But to me, it's not lemon per se. There's, I think there's some lemon, but it's more than just lemon to me. There's like a sourness in here too. There's a sweet but tart sour feel to the opening. You know what it smells like? It smells like candied lemon and grapefruit to me. And maybe some like orange. You know when you, oh, you know when you first peel an orange and that juice like kind of splashes up and you get that like spray of juice when you're peeling the skin off an orange. I'm getting that super sweet, tart, citrusy orange vibe too. It's almost like a combination of lemon, grapefruit, and orange in the opening to me. I'm not just getting straight up lemon and that's the difference for me with this and bake. And I definitely get that candied 
feel it's sweet. It's like sugary sweet in the opening, but with some sour touches to it as well. I'm gonna say right off the bat, that's not going to be for everyone. I know this is being hyped to the moon and back right now, but this is one you gotta test for yourself because I can see how people wouldn't like the opening of this. This is gonna be not for everyone. Now, personally, I love it. I love the opening of this because I'm into those really zesty, sweet, sour, candied citruses in the opening of perfumes. I love it. I love it. Zesty. I like zesty. <laughs> but that's not for everyone. As this perfume dries down, I've worn this, I gave it a full wear test. I'm not saying that I'm an expert on this perfume because I've only worn it once, but this is just my first impression of this perfume. As this perfume dries down, I'm getting this I definitely get the orange blossom, but then it dries down to this very vanilla yumminess. And I think it's beautiful. I really like it. I do get the hype behind this one. This is definitely my kind of perfume. This is something I really, really enjoy. I don't think it smells exactly like bake, but it's similar for sure. I think if you like bake, there's a good chance you're gonna like this. The vanilla dry down is really, really good, but this is sweet. This is a sweet, sugary gourmand. So do I like this? Yes, I'm a gourmand lover, so yes, I like it. So definitely try before you buy, but I was pretty much sure that this was gonna be a safe blind buy for me, and I do really love it. I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. I don't really know that much about performance yet. I've only worn it once, but so far it seems to be pretty decent. I really don't struggle to smell it when I wore it. It seemed to be fine. So I think the performance is pretty good, but I will keep you posted. So I'm really loving this one. Let me know what you think of this one. Have you tried it? Do you think the hype is real or not? I personally do, I'm really enjoying it. So this is by Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. Okay, this next perfume was a blind buy as well because I had seen everyone and their mother talk about this perfume in their best of vanilla videos. You know, right now is the time when everybody releases vanilla videos. You know, that everybody's in the mood for vanilla right now. It makes sense. I released a vanilla video. I love vanilla videos, but I swear every single time I saw a vanilla video, almost every single one had this perfume in it and I was like okay I must have missed something because I did try this one when it first came out but I just sprayed it on a card I didn't think much of it and moved on so I thought okay I didn't give it a fair shot it must be way better way better than what I gave it credit for this is by YSL Black Opium Le Parfum and this one is just loved by vanilla lovers for sure. Okay, here's the deal. I said that I wasn't going to buy any more black opiums. I decluttered the original because I just didn't love it. I'm not a hater of black opium, but it's just not my favorite, you know? And then I bought the Illicit Green. I really, really liked that one, but I ended up decluttering it because I was never reaching for it, and I said, that's it. No more black opiums. <laughs> Here I am with another black opium. I did just purchase the one ounce though because I was scared. I was skeptical and I was scared that I wasn't going to love it. And when I first spray it, I get black opium. It smells like the original black opium in the opening to me. I was kind of like, oh great, you know, I that's what I did. I bought another black opium. <laughs> Of course it smells like black opium. It's a flanker. I mean, what was I expecting, right? Even though I do get black opium when I first spray it, when you put it on your skin and you actually let it dry down, that's when all that vanilla comes through. There's like three different types of vanilla in here and it is definitely very vanilla forward. I wore this, I think it was maybe yesterday or the day before, I gave this a full wear test. It was one of those fragrances that I felt like I started to love more and more and more as I wore it. And the when I first sprayed it, I wasn't in love with it. I was like, okay, mm, smells like black opium with more vanilla. And that is what it smells like, but there's something about the way this develops and how deep and rich and intense that vanilla gets that starts to get you. And as it dries down, I was like, okay, I think I'm starting to love this more and more. So this is just my first impression. I'm gonna give it more wears. The performance is really good though. That's another one of my issues with black opiums is that the performance is not amazing, especially the original. It barely lasted on me. I think it made it like three, maybe four hours and then I couldn't smell it anymore. This one lasted all day. It wasn't super strong, like it wasn't loud and filling up a room, but it was a moderate, a moderate scent bubble with pretty decent longevity. I think this one is gonna turn into a love 
I need to play around with it some more. This is still just my first impression, but I do see why people are hyping this up. The vanilla is really, really good in here. So I am happy I blind bought this one and I will keep you posted on how I feel. So that's by YSL Black Opium Le Parfum. Okay, this last one is one that I did not blind buy. This is one that I actually had smelled at Saks Fifth Avenue when it was first released. I was super curious about it and I knew I wanted it, but I was gonna wait for the sale. So this is by Chanel and this is Chance Au Fresh and this is the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette has been out for many, many years and the Eau de Toilette is one of my absolute favorite freshy perfumes ever. It's one of my most complimented perfumes in my collection and I adore the Eau de Toilette. When I smelled the Eau de Parfum, I was in love. Like it was love at first sniff. And I do find that when it comes to like the other perfumes in this line, I will take the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette usually, and I do feel like I do like this one maybe even a little bit better than the Eau de Toilette. However, I'm not going to get rid of the Eau de Toilette because I feel like that one's absolutely perfect for hot, hot weather. I can wear that in the dead heat and it just feels refreshing to me. This one is still the Eau de Toilette DNA, but there is some warm, deep amber in this perfume that I love. I am a huge fan of ambery warm perfumes and they took this perfume and they yeah they I feel like they just added a ton of this like warm rich ambery feel to the fragrance. It's so so good. I love the contrast between that freshness and that warm amberiness in this perfume. I am in love. I am in love with this. I think this smells so good. I did spray this on the back of my hand when I first got it just to refresh my memory and this thing was giving. I could smell this. I mean, it was wafting. The performance is really good on me. However, I do not have problems with the Eau de Toilette. I never have. The Eau de Toilette lasts all day on me and performs like an EDP. I never had performance issues, but this is definitely, this lasts forever on me. And I don't know, I just think it smells incredible. I'm a big fan. So if you like the original and you like the idea of it being deeper, darker, richer, with some warmth and some amberiness, definitely give this one a shot. Get your nose on it because I think it's beautiful. And I do think the performance is better than the EDT. I think I'm going to wear this because it's warm and ambery, even though it has that freshness in the opening, it has that zesty, citrusy freshness in the opening. I feel like this is still one that I could probably wear all year round. I could wear it in the summer, but because of that amberiness, I feel like I can wear it in cooler weather as well. So it might be a nice break from some of the other perfumes that I usually gravitate towards in the fall and winter. I don't know. I don't really know yet when exactly this will be the best to wear. I'll have to play around with it, but I absolutely love the way that it smells. So this is by Chanel. This is Chance Au Fresh, the Eau de Parfum. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. It was just a quick little haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I would love to hear from you. I want to know what you got. Did you get anything from the Sephora VIB sale and what did you purchase? I would love to know. And have you tried any of these fragrances and what are your thoughts on them? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.